let's look at designing a filtration schedule for an 18 by 36 foot pool. It has an average depth of four and a half feet. And that means that it doesn't really have a deep end. Perhaps it's a sport pool with a deep end around five and a half feet or so. So the average depth is four and a half feet. And so the total volume is about 21,870 gallons. So that makes our filtration goal 65,610 gallons. Well, why is that? Well, we want to filter all of the water in the pool every day. In order to do that, you need to filter more than the actual volume of your pool one time. And the math is, is that you need to filter the volume of your pool three times to achieve at least 95% of all of the water in your pool being filtered at least once. And so that's why our goal is 65,610 gallons, because you want to filter all of the water in your pool to remove the contaminants and organic debris from it. Anything that you don't filter from the water, the chlorine in your water needs to deal with chemically. And I think that less chemicals and less chlorine exposure is something that I hear repeated from pool owners all of the time. And so if you have a method to remove bacteria and organic debris from your pool without having to use chemicals and chlorine, well then you should use that. And the, that method is proper filtration, at least, at minimum, three times the volume of your pool filtered every day. So that's our goal here, 65,610 gallons of water. This system is based on 1.5 inch PVC, so kind of on the smaller side for what is otherwise a fairly large pool. One and a half horsepower pump and the TDH of this system is 40. So let's take a look at the variable speed schedule. The low speed component, because you need periods of time at low, medium, and high speeds every day, the exact amount and the exact RPM well, that depends on your swimming pool and the parameters and peripheral items involved and installed with it. Every swimming pool is different. This is just one example. So because this is a larger pool, you'll notice this isn't a specifically lean schedule. There's no periods of time at all at 700 RPM or 900 RPM, simply because we're going to need a lot of flow volume to get 65,000 gallons every day. So our low period at 1500 RPM is about 35 gallons per minute, 255 watts of power being consumed while we're generating that. If we run that for a 12 hour period of time, we will result with 25,200 gallons of filtered water. So just to show you that running on this system right now, here we have a one and a half horsepower variable speed pump running at 1500 RPM. It's a one and a half inch system that we're currently monitoring through suction and return. Just under 35 gallons per minute right now. Just over 250 watts. Two fifty two, two fifty three there. So let's take a look at the mid speeds. I've chosen twenty two hundred RPM because it's gonna get us just over fifty gallons per minute, six hundred and forty watts of power consumption. And again, this is a little bit longer than I might normally do for a mid speed eight hours and again that's simply because we need a large volume of water so there we are achieving just over 51 gallons per minute almost 52 high power consumption though 630 watts again this isn't so much a schedule designed for being super lean so much as it is being designed for optimal filtration of the pool water So after eight hours, we would expect to get about 24,480 gallons of filtered water. Now let's take a look at the high speeds. A lot of the times I'll recommend to ease off the throttle, so to speak. Uh, don't make your maximum RPM 
the full maximum, you know, dial it back to 2800, 2700, because there's a lot of efficiency benefit from doing so. You don't lose a lot in terms of your total gallons per minute, but your power consumption does go down quite a bit. In this instance, again, large pool, trying to get as much water filtered as we can. So we went ahead and we're right at the maximum for this 120 volt installation for this inch and a half horsepower. 3000 RPM is our maximum. And we're, we're going to be achieving just over 70 gallons per minute, but it's gonna be burning 1500 watts of power. It's a lot. Just over 10 PSI, not 11, just over 10. Seventy-one gallons per minute. Fifteen hundred watts. One point five kilowatts. So four hours at that high speed is going to get us seventeen thousand and forty gallons. At the end of this cycle, we'll have achieved 66,720 gallons of filtered water. Our goal was 65,610, so that is mission accomplished with 66,720. Let's look at the cost. 255 watts of power times 12 hours, 640 watts of power times 8 hours, and 1,500 watts of power times 4 hours. Grand total, 14,180 watts, rounded up to 14.2 kilowatts. And that's how you pay for your power, the kilowatt. You pay approximately 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're talking about 14.2 14 kilowatts times 13 cents per kilowatt hour, $1.85. And that's what it's going to cost you to run this variable speed schedule for this 18 by 36 pool filtering with three a three turnover filter of the pool water. Uh, three, three turnovers equaling 65,000 gallons of filtered water daily. Total cost $55.50 based on 30 days. So as you can see here, it's really quite affordable when you set up your system properly. This is not even a specifically lean schedule. Oftentimes with pools, I'll have periods of time at 700 or 900 RPM for many hours, you know, up to 12, 16, 18 hours. But this pool was too big to do that with. And it was not optimal that it had inch and a half plumbing because it really couldn't get that much in terms of the flow rate. It was also limited with 120 volt connection for the the pump because that means the pump is a little bit smaller than if you had 240 volts available typically speaking you're going to be able to have a pump that can move a little bit more water you know that top number at 71 might have looked more like 91 or 101 and that adds up and makes a big difference especially when you're talking about a pool on the larger size at 18 by 36 feet even though it wasn't all that deep if you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.